So I had the opportunity today to sit down and have a pretty long conversation with a 60-year-old homeless guy. His name is Colin, he is disabled. And when we were talking, uh, he was having himself some adult beverages, so there's that. And I, I say conversation very loosely because he was talking and I was listening. I got full permission to take a video and everything. He didn't want to be on video, but he was more than happy letting me record the conversation. And it was interesting and it was fun and I figured it did something you guys might like, so this is it. Um, again, there's no video to go with the audio, so I will put something in it. Well, you guys, enjoy. Mm -hmm. well, I'm starting to get angry. Like, okay, bud, I lost my knife on my side. No, you and don't. I, and they're gonna take my fucking shoes too. That's something. Like, there's like a rule. Like, if, if you're down here and scumbag steals from a fucking poor man, like that's the lowest you know. I don't mind robbing a perfect person, but you get like stealing from a homeless man. Go to jail and tell him, yeah, I should rob an 80 year old homeless man. Like, he should be so proud, buddy. That's a scum of the scum. Even the bank robbers are spit in his face. Yep. Like, that's the lowest you know. Yeah, I ripped off. Oh, homeless guy. Yeah, he sure you'd be big as pet in Mill Haven. Tell him that story. I'm sure they'll have a heart. Like, that, you're scumbags. Like, you're, you're the lowest in the world. Oh, uh, I. Well, like, I'm going to rob, I'm going to my bank. I want fucking money. I don't want to buy a bank off. Like, uh, honestly, when I'm. You're joking. Oh, I know, I know you're joking. Like, right? in. in. But yeah, if somebody's going to rob, think of it. Rob us. What kind of douchebags are that? I, I'm waiting. It'll be about yeah. midway through August. September-ish. I'm out of. I'll be out of this area, going way up to the Thunder Bay area. Okay, you're making me jealous. Stop. And the uh, my ODSP will come in. Stop. Oh hell, I buy. I, you can get uh, the guy. The guy who sells it is. Yeah, I always read about cabins. In the yeah, woods. That's the point. Is it's like a community. It's on unincorporated land, so it's uh, a town, but it's not a town. A person owns like a thousand acres up there. He sells lots of uh, one acre off for five hundred bucks. The po po oh shit! Thank you. The thing is, um, I'm gonna buy maybe four of those once I get my ODSP because they owe me like fifty thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on Amazon, like what you were talking about, those sheds. Yeah, I mean, if you had a piece of land, just, just say oh. you, you own this acre, you You put a shed there, right? Like so, you move to Bancroft, wherever it is. You get your beer, your beans, your cooker to cook. You get in one of those things. You could start with a tent. I read about a couple. They built a, a the cottage life. They, they built their own cottage. You got a little more money, you know. They built a small cottage. It's in their cottage life. They, got they started out in a tent. Yeah. They lived in a tent. He, he built this fucking thing. It took them a while, but these, there are different people like us. Yeah. People that, but they, at the end of the day, because not everybody wants to live in a tent. Most of these yuppies up here wouldn't even do it. But then they built it. You should have seen what he had. It's an A-frame, a nice A-frame, small, not too big. They show the, 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 the it's got the, the lovely um, the, the fireplace in there. It must be nice on a winter's night. Well, that's and, uh, the cost is cost effective. I that's mean, that's the point, like that that thing up there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and he owns it outright because obviously the land prices are a lot less there than here. Yep, so, that's what I'm doing. It's I'm get my ODSP going right up there gonna yeah. buy four plots of those lands because yeah, and uh, spend maybe two thousand dollars on a uh, they're called uh, pop-up houses oh, on yeah. you get it right now on Amazon Let, literally they deliver it right where you want it to uh, it's like three thousand four thousand dollars and it's it's an actual like um, five set I think the one I'm looking at is 700 square feet three thousand dollars it looks uh, like uh, one of those shipping crates at first yeah, but you yeah. go inside you push the walls out and it, it's a big place yeah. and so and yeah no that's my plan I'm um, gonna put some solar so I can have power get a good uh, antenna so I can grab yeah, I, I internet Something in his eye, he gave up his trade, he went into the woods, he built this cabin, he shows you how he makes it, 
He's a seasoned uh, wood guy. He cuts the wood, he makes a cabin. Yeah. It's a real deal. He, he actually is a, a naturalist. He, he can film the wildlife with the camera. It's nice. And he's in the canoe. And he goes, I like it here. And then he puts on the radio and you hear the radio. Ah, the traffic's bad. And then he turns it off. The static and all you hear is the water. But he's a real deal. And he lives up on Twin Lakes. It's Dick Burnett. And if you ever look, I think his cabin in the woods will pop up. Yeah. Watch it. It's a 1960 thing. He's been celebrated. He just had enough with the wood. And he went there. Not many people could do it. He built even a thing. Like he, he cuts the wood with the thing. He, he even made a handle to lock his door. He got rocks from the river to make his floor. The guy is something else that he, he filmed the bears. He goes, I like seeing the bears. I know winter's coming and there's the mama bear. He, he, he's, he's what I wanted to be. Like, yeah. He, he, he's the real deal. Checkered shirt. He's got the canoe. Yeah, he's, an, he's real. He knew how to fish and oh. but, uh, admirable. But, you know, not everybody can do that. I could, I could do that. I draw. I can buy a puzzle. You know. That's. I go for a walk. I got things I could do. I, I, I go, okay, call and clean. Go for a walk. I figure something like that. that that's that my goal. I did that with the kids at Stevie's Cottage. I take Lindsay and Alyssa and we go in the woods and find wood, bird nests. There's mm -hmm. always something to do. You can carve something out of a tree, make a spoon. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's the thing is, um, that that's the point. That's why I want to go yeah. up north. Like I, uh, you, I'm, I'm, I'm in construction. I, I can build anything there. Um, Would it be nice to have a house here? You down here? I'm not in Toronto. You get, no, uh, see when you go down here? Because you said at the top of the hill when I go into my place, it's at the top. Once you go close to the other, I see I'll see the pops. Well, it's on their house. So if you knew them, then so you could stay in this shed. I'm thinking that'd be fucking lovely, right, pops? A guy like me, you go here, I'll give you 400 out of my ODSD. And they say, yeah, man, you could just stay in the shed. And you can come in and have a shower and cook. I think if I could find a deal like that, I'm, it, it, I'm variable. What, what could happen? Mm -hmm. I wish I had a rich friend. He says, "Hey, Colin, just uh, just stay and watch the boat. I, I don't want any money. Just watch the boat. You know, and I got enough money. I can take care of myself. But um, unfortunately, I don't have any rich friends. So. <laughs> I need the joy, man. I wish I did. I let you stay in the boathouse. <laughs> you know, I don't need any money. I'm rich. Just so I just you had somebody like that. But um, yeah, the one at the top of the hill is really nice. It's just, I have um, seen it. No one will fuck with you on private property. Yeah. In fact, at the top, it would be nice having a Labatt Blue sitting up there listening to the Solbys, you know, and you're having warm in there. there. There's another one, like, straight from here, right up that hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, They have a nice fire pit in their back. I, when I come down at night, I, you know, you, you, I can smell the fire. Yeah. And, like, again, tonight, I'm, I'm going down to that uh, spot there to uh, have a nice big campfire. I mean, it is nice. It's a snow night Friday. I got my gear. I came back, there's nobody. I saw my same tracks, there's nothing when I walked down there. Right back, I'm thinking, fuck, if you follow me home. But anyway, when I got home, I put on my radio, I drank my beer, turned my propane heater. Yeah. My Christmas lights. But I mean, it can happen. Like, like I say, I'm not here all the time. And my pops is in here right now. So I mean, every time I come home, I'm like, is my door on? You know, it can happen. You know, but that most they could lose is a sleeping bag. I think I have two dinky cars in there that are like a Camaro and a Charger. They're, they're not going to take your sleeping bag. They're no, just, but you uh, know what I mean. Like my, 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 I actually have some books. They wouldn't even know my treasures. Actually, books. Yeah. And uh, I've hidden my big, big stuff. Basically, the stuff I, I, I couldn't afford to lose. I keep with me with my cell phone and my wallet. Right? Same here. Yeah. Like they can, they can wreck my sleeping bag. I could find another twenty bucks for it. They could, well, I wouldn't really like it if they wrecked my heater, but... Even then, if you, if you really if you really need yeah, a sleeping I mean, bag, you just go down to uh, yeah. Covenant House and they'll give you one. Yeah, at the end of the day, I, I just prefer it didn't happen. But, I mean, it could happen. It happens in houses. It happens to rich people, well, poor people get... Then you're you're more likely to get robbed in a house now. Yeah, if you, if you see what's going on, like the people going in with uh, weapons. Even, even the Beatles got robbed. Uh, George Harrison, somebody breaking a... Somebody broke into Ozzy Osbourne's house in a million dollar house. I mean... I mean, uh, the biggest defense, uh, if, if a thief really walks in, the, even the house is going to be glass. And glass is easy to break. I mean, <laughs> if they want in, they want in. I was going to put a, a joke between you and I. I was going to put this between I didn't do it, but I pondered it. I was going to say, uh, uh, danger, do not enter, bad bugs inside. <laughs> no, but really. I've got to you know, do I not. Know, uh, I don't want to put that on there, cause, but I thought of it. You know, it's like, okay, do you want to break it? I don't have it, but I was going to put that on. Right. I'm. It, I've got a no trespassing sign in mine, but uh, right now, because there's no actual door on the front of uh, of mine, it's yeah. like a fabric. I'm working on a um, 
a tension torsion door. Right. Like uh, you take a, a stick, uh, three sticks in between, and then you mesh them in between so it, stick, it puts itself together. You know what I think too? I just thought of it today. I have a lawn chair, so when you come in our place, I put the lawn chair, pop does the fence. It's mostly falling down, but there's only a few places you can get in. And yes, you can get in the fence. So I go to the gym at Denton, there's a homeless guy I know, because he lives, there's a park there, and between the houses, there's one little spot he's got his tent. He used to be able to see his tent, now he's got a wall there, and it says, he's got a sign, I don't know what it says, how far away, I won't check it, but the point is this, okay, you're outside, if you're outside and you have nothing around you, anybody can enter, now I'm not saying, like putting something around to stop him, but it kind of tells you this is my area, Yeah. and that's what that guy, not to say it wouldn't stop him, but even I thought, well, even houses have fences. It's telling people, and you can jump the fence, but it's saying this is why you're. Now, if you don't have it, anybody can walk up. Like in my place, when I go in, I put all this wood across. Yep. I had a guy knock on my door one night. It was sleep at 3 in the morning. I, I don't know if I dreamt it or. I didn't dream it. Somebody did knock. I didn't dream it. But I was asleep and went 3 in the morning. I got this. I woke up. I wasn't drinking that night. And I, hello? Then I. I I think I heard something, so I'm usually timid, but I was kind of brave that night. I grabbed my stick, bah, 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 and I went out and hit the thing. And um, but now I put something up there. I have wood. Now they could move it, but I at least I have time to 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 to. to, to, to. That's what I. Yeah, and I got a better lock. I had like a saw there, like your mom could have opened it with a saw. I was always aware of that. Like when I put, I got a handle. I put the saw through, and I mean, really, your mom could have actually, if she pulled on it, that wasn't very safe. But now I got a rebar. I mean, you could open it, but they'd have to pull hard. And by the, if they're that uh, determined to get in, I know I got a problem. Like that's, yeah. that, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to be in that position. I've never. Oh, I've got I, the my, my mine is completely surrounded. Like there's barricades right around, so there's only one entrance. And on there, um, after I came back when my place got ransacked, I, I, I figured I gotta know if someone's here and I'm here. Yeah. It, uh, you know. You put a sign. Yeah, you take this one. Put a sign. Danger, life, snakes inside. Oh, I, uh, I ended up. Uh, I was going through uh, the uh, the uh, the river area. I picked up a bunch of used fishing line, and uh, I put some, not not trip wires, but um, I filled some cans with. Rocks. I, I used to swim at Massey Park there. There was a little thing right pretty deep here. There's a pond. I, I skated out with my buddy Bob. There's a couple tents there. Even me, I went over one night. We were skating. I'm just curious. I go give him this. He had a fence around. I wouldn't go over the fence. Yep. No, I because I, you know, it, it, it's like okay. I was curious, and like most people, I went, but then I saw the fence, and I know that's telling me something. Yeah. They got those on Dawes. If you go Dawes along this path, the Dawes, there's a bunch of Indians sleeping in that house there. And they even have a fence, and it says, do not cross. I don't know where they keep, I walk through. But the fence is an idea. It's just telling the cops where I am. There's a, I, there's, I, there's a barrier. They'd have to cross it. And if he's that determined, I go put a lot of wood. He'd make noise. I'd hear him. Well, I, I did uh, so fishing line and cans. If somebody's that determined, I go, why would they want to come in at 3 in the morning? Like, who, who, who's going to be around? Who's that, gonna... That's what scares me. Someone's coming there when I'm, I'm asleep. So that's what... So what I did was raw, 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 some cans and stuff. So if they do come, you can't see the fishing line either. It's just on the ground, but they're going to step on it. That's actually, there's a guy down here who, uh, when, when I first got into that camp, when I first got into that camp, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't Gary. It was another guy. He's, uh, walks around with a backpack. He's not like us, but he, he comes down here, wanders in. Yeah, I don't know if you know the guy, but he's uh, he's 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 uh, he, he's um, he carries a backpack with him. He's uh, he drinks Heineken. I've seen I picked up a couple Heinekens. Funny enough, I picked up two, and they're all right place now. I've never seen them, but they're okay. He he walks around Heineken, drinking Heineken. Yeah, I picked up two Heineken. I do have some too. Yeah, I, I do too. I I I, I did um, a few days right before the uh, snowstorm. I walked around. All down here, all up there. I I had picked up like thirty bucks worth of empties. Yeah, I know it's a good thing to do. I'm in. A, I, I I I like my life in some ways. That's I, I do flyers. I make forty dollars, and then another ten. So if I didn't smoke, that, that's, I could get by in ten dollars. I just went to Fresco. I actually my place right now. I have two pork chops for four fifty, and I buy the potato salad. Right, I smoke it. I've I got uh, ten dollars a day if I don't smoke. I just I just I, I read and dollar eat, store. Read and eat, man. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just hit up I the dollar few, store. Uh, well, I have some tobacco in the beer, but 
good time you haven't drank in a while, but today I need to. I really do. And I recommend these, by the way, just because it's mm -hmm. seven percent. So if you really have a sad life like me, this is bad enough. Yeah. Thai octane. No, I. On a, I don't. I don't. I, don't, I really don't drink. And if I'm going to, it's going to be with. Uh, I'll have. I'll buy. At most, I'll buy uh, three of the cheapest beer I can find. Yeah. Sit down and have a fire, and that's very, very rarely. I like to. But tonight, it, it's going to be easy for me there. The uh, by the way, the uh, the cities down in the area right now they're cleaning up. They've well, uh, there's bags aware. and bags of sticks. I'm <laughs> going to take. You and I. I have my stuff down. I have um, a winter jacket. Between you and I, I've got. I've learned by being homeless one thing: I have three t-shirts, but they're all good t-shirts. I got the doors. Long story yeah. short, I have very little, but what I have is good. Yeah. I've got three good t-shirts, a sweater, the winter jacket. So if ever I have to move, all I even have an AM FM radio. I can put that in my backpack. I probably, probably the biggest thing I'd have to move is probably my cooler. I wouldn't take the lawn chair, I'd just take my sleeping bag. I, I could probably put it all in one of those garbage things. I always thought if I ever have to move, I'm going to get one of those garbage things. People put their garbage with the wheels. I could throw everything I have and move it. Yeah. I have to go up there. See, a lot of these homeless people, they got fucking shitloads of stuff. There's a lady living there, I know her, the black lady. She's at Woodbine and Danforth. She's living in the bus shelter. I used to see her when I lived in the wilderness. She's filled the whole fucking bus shelter with junk. She's uh she's an older lady, yeah, really, really, really. Lady. Oh, that I I don't know I don't well, know her. My point is, she's got so much stuff. Now me, I'm like I've been kicked out so many times. I've lost my stereo, lost my bike. I've had enough of it. Now it's like I call in. I got my two dinky cards, my book, my AM FM, and I got a little radio I can bring with me. You know my sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. So the worst you can take me for is probably like a hundred bucks. Nope. When I think of it, I say Mr. Dan, 700 bucks for that fucking rim, I hate it. 700 bucks. Don't I lost 100 bucks? You know, I got yeah. hurt. I mean, I don't want to lose 100, but at the end of the day, if I think well, of it, uh, you know, monetarily. About a month ago, I was coming up on, uh, I was at Pape Station, uh, down at the subway tracks, and there's a, she's a really slim, slim woman. She says that she was sitting at the bottom of the escalator. Uh, she got her jar of change there. And like these four little shit teenagers, uh, they decide they're gonna, you know, I, I'm coming down the stairs, just caught off, they were behind me, and they're gonna bother, they start harassing her, like you kick her things over and start screaming at her. I almost got arrested that day because I walked up to the little bastards. Yeah. Uh, what the hell are you doing? And the kid got on my face, and I just, you know, I kind of grabbed him and I threw him against the wall. But they were, they were, she, yeah, she, 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 she's like, she had to be 65, 70. These, these are like, 16, 17 year old going to beat, beat up an old woman. Yeah, you know, it's less than admirable, I must say, but there's so many vestiges of people like that. Lydia, 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 Lydia. Oh, I got teenagers. Teenagers, their brains aren't developed yet. They're um, little sociopaths. Well, they're, also, they're also in a group, too. You know, I've, I've been on the subways and I was uh, doing moving out in Kipton. There'd be a bunch of kids who are loud. As soon as there's been three or four, they're loud, big loud. As soon as the two got out the back, there's the one that's quiet. It's because they're in a group. The group brings those things to bravery. Yeah. The bravery. Yep. Brave anyway, on a great note, um, let's change this way. So you're, you're in the guy's thing behind the pine tree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's nice in there, eh? Like you've got the floor. He did a good job. Yeah. Right? I, 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 I want to see it. Of course, they wrecked it. You're in that thing? Uh, yeah. That, I, I fixed it up. There was yeah, a yeah, staple yeah. gun. If you need money, I, I'll get you. You know what? I got those perps in my place. You get them at the dollar ammo. I have a hundred of those damn things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put the silver side. Like my place was dark in there because Pops had um, basically tents, dark, yeah. dark material. Then I got a couple of those perps, packed them up. I put the silver side out. Not only did it make it warmer because I had an extra piece there where air was coming, it also reflected. Yeah, it's looking bright in there. That thing, if you go to the dollar store, get the Mylar blankets, ask yeah. them to take you to the Mylar. It's a silvery stuff. Yeah. Oh, put that stuff will keep your place yeah, yeah. really warm. Well, I'm not sorry. I'm not happy to hear that story there. Yeah, no, my, well, my other one. It happened to me just as easily. We're both vulnerable. But I mean. Oh, well, my, my place I before mean, that, I just had a little, tent you and they the just smashed it. You get your shoes stolen. I had my shoes stolen, my glasses stolen. My, you know, um, they're vulnerable, but um, I don't respect anybody takes advantage of vulnerable people. That's that's the piranhas. Well, that, the, 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 the worst part yeah, is they're, they're, they're the ones when you fall to the bottom ring of the ladder to catch you. They're the, they're scum the, of the scum. I agree. I they're the fucking homeless guy. You have a mental problem. I don't bother people. I, 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 I got problems for sure. But I don't beat people. I don't steal their shit. I got my. I can do that. That that's. There's no thievery in, in this area here. 
in this area here, there's hardly anybody. It's a lot safer. Yeah. The, the problem I is... You're legit, I'm legit. Those two, I don't know. They, I, don't, I met them. They're, 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 I think they got nowhere to go. They seem okay to me. Uh, I, I don't think they're that like that. You know? uh, if you go anywhere... I, I, I walk through the trails and stuff a lot because I'm bored. I like to clean up when I'm out here. Like, I've filled this bag many times with people's garbage just to toss out. Yeah, I came here, I picked up a couple. Because I, my thing is, when I'm coming along here, I'm taking the garbage out. And I was spreading out. Sometimes they use those two. A lot of times they bring it up here. My reasoning is, because if the guy, I've seen the guy that picks up the garbage, if he keeps seeing my propane cylinders, you see, you have seen the guy. I don't blame him. I'm a garbage man. I'd look, oh, fuck. Propane, who put the propane, right? Like people, they're really curious. That's how people are. So I would spread it out, so because I don't want the guy, you know, because yeah. I know you're here, he's going to see all these cheap beers, fucking propane cylinders. I mean, Mine goes up. to put on it homeless. I go far away. I go my, yeah, up in there. Yeah, me up here as well there, but. But uh, uh, if you go anywhere uh, north, like me, I had to go, on this side of the tracks, it's a lot safer than on. Um, if you go by those tracks anywhere beyond the, the Sunnybrook Park area and stuff, there's, so there's those two people that are here, you and uh, Gary and myself. That's not many people here. Is this a stupid idea? You know those guns you get at the Dollar Yeah, it's a stupid idea. <laughs> it's a stupid idea. <laughs> Story. You know, you know, I know what uh, you're gonna get at. It's a stupid I idea. Pops and I would live pops and got two of those little fucking snub nose 48. And we just play, we get drunk and hey, pop! Yeah, I play with fucking around with some little boys. Yeah, yeah. Homicides and so I said, hey, pops, and the odds up in the place say, hey, buddy, I got a. It's a bad idea. <laughs> you know, I, it's, it's a bad idea. Same. Hey, I got a shoot if you come any closer. But then if he has a gun. Um, uh oh, I got a plastic gun with a cop. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. Yeah, it's okay. I'll take, I, I take no. that in the. Yeah, you won. I, I'll give you that. So I'll take a consent to you. Yeah, no, but uh, I you were talking about moving. I, you're, you're better off in this area. It's safer. Yeah, yeah. Even if, you just pitch, even if you're just pitching a tent, if you're by the train tracks, like uh, by the. Even right up. I know where you were talking about. If you go along the tree tracks or towards the uh, the bridge there, there's few places to go anymore. Society's in everywhere. It's, it's there's, everywhere. There's hardly any spaces for people uh, like you and me. There's about 50 people down yeah. there, and they're, um, how do I put this slightly? Uh, they're the hardcore addicts, and they're the uh, they're the ones I, that are rob you blind. I, I, my eyes are being widened with all them. I'm learning something, but um, I, least, I don't like thievery. Like, I've never been a thief that shot my blood. I'm better than that. Um, I work for these flyers. Yeah. I get ODSP. I don't have to steal. I don't want. I don't want to steal. You know. If, I've if never sold a damn steal, thing in my if life. I, if I'm gonna steal, I, I, you know, unless they're my ass, the bug behind a bridge truck and a bag fell out and it had fucking four hundred thousand. So yes, they would take it. <laughs> I'll be honest. With you. So would I. Go to your house and steal your boots. It's not in the old cop blood. You go. Know, but I'm just saying. I'm only him. But if I'm behind the bridge truck and the bag fell out, oh yeah. But I mean, I think it's a. You know, the problem with thievery is, 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 is if you if you if you if you ate food, you had no money, and you, and you had no money, and you ate the food, and they you, you did it because you needed the food. But most people steal because of bad um, character. Yeah. Bad character. And most things they steal. I mean, people things stolen. They they take your cassette player, or your radio. Most of the things they take, they can buy. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Like like, like that's just bad. So uh, I was but at the don't dollar. Don't drop a bag of a hundred thousand in front of me. I'm just no. saying. I, I do. I take it to me. Don't I drop would. a hundred dollar bill. Oh, so uh, I was. I'm a good guy, but don't I, test. I, I I've got a thing is. Uh, I, I, I can't lie. I'm where sh shit. I uh, way too honest. Um, I was at the uh, dollar store buying some stuff, and these little uh, little buggers are going around. They're pocketing everything, yeah. and they're last like they're they're making a mess. And the, uh, the the woman there, she asked me, are, "Did you see anything?" I was like, "What do you mean? Were they did they take anything?" Yes, yeah. I was like, "Get, yep, no, they, I watched them do it. Do it. Go get them. Get them. Get them now." Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, don't like to lie. Don't like to steal. Don't. I, I've never I stolen. Have one I grew up middle class. And then Mrs. McWaters came to our house. Mrs. McWaters didn't steal my mom's the teeth stuff, you know? Mrs. M would come. People, middle class people don't, decent people don't do that. Like, I hear, I'm around a different, <laughs> it's a different world I'm in now. But I, one thing, even though things have changed, one thing I learned from life is my mom taught me better. We were taught not to steal and steal stanky. I live in a different world. I can adjust to the top of the guys like you. 
Yeah, that'd be the worst idea you ever did. Um, same thing with here. We're not. Uh, you're, we're talking about Canada. We're not allowed to defend ourselves. No. Uh, you get in trouble for even. Uh, did you hear the story about the guy in Peterborough? He oh, working at a convenience yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He grabbed the that, baseball bat and. That's an interesting case. Good lawyer. I, I mean, honestly, I, that that's something that we're law is very interesting because I don't know how it works. I'm not a lawyer, but honestly, uh, did he did he use too much force? Was he protecting himself? Because you know they put human life above property. We all know that. But in that case, the person was passing. I mean, I think basically the public would be honest. I saw the story. Yep. And uh, honestly, it's yeah, you're really right. one that should be vindicated. I mean, the guy was the guy came in a beach you, and you can't protect yourself. You know, if you get pulled over by the police and they, you even touch him, so put them put you in cuffs and say it's an assault, right? So a cop, if you're a cop, and I say. Yep. Oh, oh they, 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 they fucking break my arms, and yet you can get beaten by a baseball bat, and you can't. What do I got? Have you oh, have you, you dealt with the police in this area? I don't like. Oh, I I I was uh, just up the hill. I was up at the Thorncliffe Park area. I was heading back. Uh, this is this is a few months back. My bag is stuffed full of all my stuff. I'm yeah, looking for a place. They uh, they pull right in front of me, ask me where I'm going. I say I'm doing nothing. I'm just heading back, and they're like. Oh, what do you got with you? It's like, I'm not answering your questions. I'm just heading my way. I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, I'm a Canadian citizen. Yeah, yeah that's Canadian. all they need to know. And then, well, sure enough, I bring my camera out. The guy uh, sprints out. There was two of them in the car. The guy whips his door open, runs up to me, grabs my phone out of my hand, and tosses it. And sure enough, a second later, I'm on the ground. Um, they, they put me in the cuffs, and they emptied all my bag out, and they're going through all my stuff individually. This is completely illegal. They had yeah, no rights absolutely. to. Yeah, You have to have probable cause. Yeah. I don't believe in this country anymore. I was I just walking. To. You look like a guy like, yeah, I grew up believing in this country. I really did. Our cops are cops. That was the 70s. I believe that. But um, at this point in time, I don't think you have any rights in Canada. The Canada we grew up is long gone. I mean, I've heard this story so many times. They have to have probable cause. Yep. It's fucking ridiculous. Oops. I wouldn't Hi, be Bobby. surprised. I see nowadays you could probably get arrested for sitting in a park nowadays. I mean, that's strange. What's well, he doing? He's sitting there. Well, the thing the police. with the, 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 the police here, <laughs> if, they, if, if they stop you and talk to you, yeah. uh, they're they're ridiculous. supposed to offer you a uh, receipt. So he arrested uh, you for what? They didn't. They didn't arrest no, me. No, but he, he put the, you in cuffs. Yeah, uh, because I, did, I I didn't want to answer his questions, and I took my phone out to record them. You know, while uh, trying to record I mean, the I'm violation. To record? You are allowed to record, well, but he didn't right, like, like it. The, the Jerry Greenspan. Yeah, there. he, he mean, grabbed my phone. I need some fucking legal representation, yeah. sir. I'm a citizen of this country. I'd like representation. Before I could even get the Absolutely. recording on, he had it out of my hand and he tossed it. Yeah. Had me on the ground. They both there. They emptied my bag. Uh, when they do stop you and they do that, they're supposed to have their body cam on and they're supposed to give you a uh, receipt of the stop. And also, as I believe... I got none of that. I only have a grade 10 uh, law. I'm no lawyer, but it's pretty, pretty. you know this as well. They have to have probable cause. Yep. Learn that. It's a simple rule. Reasonable. It's reasonable, yeah. articulable, so if I'm in the Dollar Am and the guy gives me a hard time, I said, sir, did you see me take anything? If he says, yes, I did, and I know I didn't, let's see why I know you're not telling the truth. Phone the police. I'm, I'm uh, I know. I, I have issues. I, I won't get into this, but they're not, they don't... I, it's different now. It's not like the old days. When I grew up, you know, if somebody phoned the police, they what's the matter, sir? Oh, my neighbor's got some scissors. He's, he's trying to kill me. They come to your house. Like, if people phoned them back when we grew up. It's totally changed. Like, what's the matter? Like, my neighbor's got scissors. He's trying to kill me. Now they phone the police. I was doing flyers. And the guy filmed me with his camera. He goes, what you're doing is illegal. I said, what's that, sir? I'm handing out flyers. Oh, you, because I put it on his, um, like his uh, banister instead of his mail mailbox. I go, you're kidding me, right? I, you see what I'm doing? I'm doing flyers. And what you're doing is illegal. I said, sir, don't you have a job or somewhere to go to today? That's... But that's how these people are. They're making me feel like I'm doing something wrong. The and only you, thing that would be illegal... The camera because I'm like, buddy, I got a job. I pay. What, what are you doing? Like, people... Like, I put a piece of paper on your thing and you're... you're, you're like they're nuts today. If, they, they're fucking nuts. If anybody has reasonable so, access to your property, if you if if there's no like if you're not hopping a fence, you're allowed to. 
mind you, if, if there's any barricade like uh, those but buildings, the, yeah. that's illegal. But at the same time, back when we grew up, no one would do that. Like when we went to the park, I grew up in Fargo, you brought up Woodcock and guys that grew up in John Jay, tough guys, they're drinking most and export in the park. And you and I were coming through, we were 14, they were 18, they're drinking beer. You and I would never go, oh, we're calling the police. They beat, what are you, fucking nuts? They beat our faces. You yeah. just, just didn't do that back yeah, then. Yeah, well, about 20, 20 years back, like, even then. It's changed since then. But yeah, like um, and as you said, like they put you in cuffs for no reason. But I, I, I used to believe in cuffs. Like I believe in the system, but I, I don't anymore. I like to. Our country is run by inept people that are. And I agree with that. That guy MP from Manitoba. Not only is the government inept, they're fucking dangerous. They're well, dangerous. These people run. Everybody belongs. We'll take a beer home. People. The whole system is, and I'm not the only one that believes this shit. We yep. know it's, it's all over the map. But we gotta get the, the regular people like you and me to say this is ridiculous. Well, things are I'm gonna. Because you threw water on me. Like if you, if I had a problem with somebody at Walmart, and they even push it by phoning the police. That's an assault. For real. Just touching the guy, and then I get arrested. That would never happen before. And the same uh, you say, come, what do you do? So he touched me. We've got Sir, no. This right. is a frivolous waste of police time. They would have arrested him. So this this happened about a week ago. Uh, you, you, the mall up there. Uh, no, no, uh, the end of the mall up there. I went in there, went to the uh, dollar store, did my shopping, uh, and there's uh, right in front of the medical center there. There's some chairs. I went out there, sat down, yeah, you told me. started That's packing. Right? Start, no, this is the I started packing my stuff. This is it, no, the, that, 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 this is the second time. The other one I was up right in front of the grocery store. But uh, this time they come out there. I'm don't sitting there packing my bag again. Sneaky, this happened yeah. twice. They came out there, and uh, I, I don't. I didn't know they're. I didn't know they're coming. Uh, one guy's an, one guy is uh, tall in yellow. The other guy is all dressed yeah, in all black. Packing guy, my man, stuff. Man, says, uh, "What am I doing here?" And starts to uh, yell at me. He starts. To, uh, he starts swearing at me. These are the security guards. Starts swearing at me. And this is like, so you know what? I grab my phone out of my pocket. The second they see that, this is how you know they were doing wrong. Their mouths shut, they turn around and start walking away. And then I start recording them. So if you have to run away when someone brings out a camera, you know you're doing wrong. But I will, I, well, well, I have one thing, it can be beaten. I'll tell you, I was watching the thing on YouTube in the States, and I give this guy my, my highest regard. There was a protest there, the police were bullying people. So this black guy was in camouflage, he takes on the police. The, the police were bullying people. He said, buddy, I fought for America. I was in Afghanistan. I fought for this country. This is a free country. He goes, you're supposed to fight for the rights of the people, not oppress them. Well, the fucking cops get, stood back from this guy. He stood up. He wasn't backing down. He fucking put the cops in his face. He goes, I went overseas to fight for a country of freedom, and you're oppressing it. The cops didn't know what to do because he was an American soldier. Yeah. And they backed right down. And, so he, and he was right. He was, he was fucking right on. Well, you're supposed to protect our rights. I fought for a country that's free. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to get criminals, not people protesting. We have a right to protest in this country. The cops are just astounded. They went, it was a big bro, and he was an American soldier. And they passed out because they are abusing people's rights. And I gave him more, more, and he had them in the, well, look at it, look at L.A. when they beat up Rodney King. Well, they're all good when they're beating people up. Finally, the black people, I'm not black, but I'll give them this. They had enough. They're being oppressed, they're living in a poor neighborhood, and they beat us up, rob us. Finally, they had enough. They beat up Rodney King, the blacks had enough. See those fucking cops, they jump in the car like old scared cats, eh? They're the bullies. Cops are bullies. They only bully weak people, eh? There, there are, I'll put it, it's... Rosedale. They, they, if you lived in Rosedale, they definitely would stop and go, oh, sorry, sir, what? I'm going home, sir. There's, there, 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 there's a lot. They represent the rich and the... And the there are... are the, the, the bad ones are, are more apparent than the yeah, good ones. But the problem is, is... But that's you're, 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 there's no... The reason why is they're not all... Not all cops are bad, but they are all bad because... Well, the good easy. cops aren't good cops because they're not reporting the bad ones. Yeah, it's actually easy to regulate. It's actually a military service, right? Yeah. And it has to be regulated. It has to be re regulated by the public. They can only do what the public allows. Yep. Like the black and tan. Those guys are smoking. Yeah, they have to knock them. But the thing is, they don't want to the floor here. I'm pretty clean kept. They, they figure I'm like one of the outstanding citizens. No, so really. They, they, they acknowledge me. So I haven't had that. But I, I must say, if I had your experience, I'd be embittered. 
You know, I was waiting for Mr. Bergman, the guy who worked for John. I was mean in Danforth. I was talking to this girl. She was a sweet girl, but she was talking to me while I was waiting for John to do a move job. And she tells me she lived in those buildings at Maine and Danforth. She had an altercation with her boyfriend, and the cops fucking punched her in the mouth. I go, you're kidding me. She goes, oh, no, they, they punched me here. I thought, that, that's like, they, like they beat up a girl? I get you kidding me. But she wasn't kidding. And I've heard it from you. They put you in cuffs. I haven't had this experience, but it's scary that it can happen and it shouldn't happen. Like a cop hitting a girl. Well, you, you can't hide behind your back, buddy. There, it's like there, a fucking girl, man. There's a reason like what they'll do. There's an absolute, there's a reason why they right. will some do for good, me. Some are bad. Yeah, but no, there's a reason why, no matter what, uh, they, they'll come at me over anybody you're else. A big guy. Because I'm a big guy. And you got a big one. And even when I don't have a put on, I got a very little hair, so it makes me look like I'm ready to. Yeah. yeah, and they think I'm gonna. Shady. Yeah, I, I, they think I'm gonna yeah, hurt someone. Yeah, they think I'm uh, up to something. Man, I, 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 I'm the person who's not gonna do jack all. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, just, just time because I gotta. No, it's, it's one of those things. Yeah, I, it's like almost 1:30 now. I gotta head up the library and do some charging. Yeah, I've done enough talking. I'll be